Hello there, uh, welcome to this lesson where we are doing logarithms uh, and this is an introduction to logarithms and in order to understand logarithms you first need to have a, a good grasp on exponential expressions so a logarithm walks hand in hand with um, a power okay so let me give you an example okay so a power is when I have a base and an exponent and when I simplify that or find the answer of it I have an answer so base and exponent equal to an answer this is called the exponential the exponential form okay so let me give you an example or two I know that 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 and I know that 2 well, let's say 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. These are two examples of exponential form expressions. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. Okay, now, is there a way... Or oh, let me ask you a question like this. If I were to tell, ask you 5 to the power of something is equal to... 25 or I can ask you what exponent must I give 5 to get an answer of 25 just like the question here is what do I get when I take 2 to the power of 3 the answer here is what power should I take sorry what exponent should I take so that 5 to the power of that exponent equals 25 now a different way of writing this question is using logarithms okay and that's it this question this is a question it's asking the question what exponent must I give 5 to get 25 and a different way of writing this question is by using logarithms to be honest I have no idea why they call it a logarithm but a logarithm is written if this is the line you are writing on then kind of as a little subscript we put our base so the line we're writing on is cutting our base and it's smaller than your normal sized letters okay and then in line with this is your answer that you're trying to find and we and this now represents a question it's asking the question okay fine log is I, I like to say log is an interviewer and Log is interviewing 5, asking him what exponent he should give him to get 25. And then the answer is obviously the answer that 5 will give. So Log is asking 5, 5, what exponent must I give you to get an answer of 25? And he will answer 2. So, what a Log does, very simple, Log asks the base what exponent must I give you to get the answer and now the result of this question the answer to this question would be the exponent of this expression so this is the logarithmic form if base exponent answer is the exponential form so this is called logarithmic form. Okay. So let's let's do a few. Okay. A few examples. What is log 2 of 16? So log is asking 2, what exponent must I give you to get 16? And 2 says, well, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so the answer is 4. If I had to write this, this is logarithmic form, if I had to write this in exponential form, the equivalent would be 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Okay, how about log 10, 1000 is equal to so log is asking 10 what exponent should I give you to get a thousand and he says well 10 to the power of well we know 10 to the power of 3 is equal 
to a thousand that means the answer for this would be three okay now one important thing that uh, you need to know is that logarithms are used so that we can work with exponents rather than large numbers like a thousand okay so instead of working with a thousand scientists would rather use the number three or they'd rather work with 10 to the power of three so they'd rather just work with that three because it's a smaller number than a thousand now a thousand's not really that large a number but when it comes to light years which is i can't even remember how large a light year is so large that we don't use the the normal decimal number we'd rather use a, a number with an exponent now that's when logarithms gets in use and because when we l use large numbers uh, the, our base is usually base 10 in general when our base is 10 we omit it so if I just have log of a hundred like that because 10 as a base is so often used in uh, by scientists they just ignore it completely they don't write it at all and just like if there's no co coefficient it's a 1 if there is no uh, if there's a radical with no uh, degree that degree is 2 if there's a logarithm with no base that base is 10 so this is log asking 10 what exponent must I give you to get a hundred and he will answer two and uh, then there's another very special number that I'm not going to explain now it is called the natural base it is e e is approximately equal to two comma seven one eight two eight etc and just like pi it's an irrational number that has no uh, there's no pattern after the comma and uh, e is also and you won't understand it now but but hopefully when you go into your further studies you'll encounter it again um, it's a very unique and very special number that is uh, in use a lot um, in fur further studies and because it also is in use a lot you get another log with e as a base and because it's called the natural number we get the natural logarithm which is shortened by having so here would be a number it is shortened as lin we call it lin ln is the uh, natural logarithm but you probably won't encounter it at school but uh, just for interest sake this is asking so if I have lin of I don't know, 10, it would ask E the question, what exponent must we give you to get an answer of 10? And I don't know what that answer is. It is an irrational number. It's not as simple as these ones we've done. Uh, but that's a question. Okay, so in the next couple of uh, videos, we'll look at, um, at some logarithmic laws and also how to use your calculator to calculate any log many calculators can only do log base 10 so if I had a question log 7 20 your calculator might not be able to do this and definitely most computers can't do this in normal programming language you have to convert this into a logarithm with a base 10 um, and we'll look at uh, how we do that as well so see that in the next videos I look forward to seeing you there bye